Hi, I'm Daniel Overton from CR Kennedy, the Leica Geosystems distributors here in Australia. Thanks for joining us again for this short video series where we take a look at the Leica blk to go handheld imaging laser scanner. Now we've already taken a look at the unboxing of the laser scanner and we've just been out to site at, at a vacant property to do some field capture and go through some basic and advanced techniques. So now back in the office, we're going to look at the process of importing the data that we've captured in the field, linking the scans together, finalising the project and exporting it. Now the process for downloading the captured data is quite simple. There's two options to do this. You can either transfer your data via Wi-Fi or the faster option is by USB-C cable. Now to tether the device to your computer, you connect the USB-C cable to the port underneath the battery and the other end to the USB-C port on your laptop. Now as far as data management goes, there's, again there's a couple of ways you can do this and I'm going to talk you through my preferred method. I'm going to be importing the data via the BLK data manager. This allows you to import the raw data and archive it for future use. Then you can import that raw data straight into your registration software. So we're going to scan for a connected device and once the serial number is found, we hit connect. Once connected, it's going to download a list of all the scans that are on the device. Now this list is quite handy in that not only does it give us the list of scans that are on the device, it also lists the size, the duration of the scan and the date and timestamp. Now once we review this list, we can choose the scans that we want to download choose the storage location and get the download running. Now once we've completed our download, we launch our registration software, in this case I'm using Register360. We browse to our raw files and just drag and drop straight in. Now before we hit that import button, we've got a few import options that we can customise. Now you can see at the top here, we have the option to import images. We can delay the import of images to a later time. This will speed up the import process. But in this case, I'm going to bring the images straight in. We also have the option to punch out an E57 straight away. We have a filter option where we can make our point cloud more gridded. And lastly, we have our waypoint intervals option. This is going to extract images at preset distances. Now the last little tick box you have at the bottom here is waypoints from geotag locations. By using this feature here, we're able to force a waypoint at a single spot. So for example, if you wanted a waypoint facing the center of a room, you hit the geotag button and not only do we have that higher res image, but we force a waypoint. Once we're happy with our settings, we hit that import button. Okay, so now that our scans have imported, we're able to see a list on the left-hand side here. And if you remember, we did a scan of the ground floor, a scan of the upper level, and also a scan in the roof space. Now we're able to preview any one of these walks by hitting the Setup Cloud button. This allows us to orbit or fly through the point cloud, as well as jump in and out of the waypoints, viewing the panoramic imagery. Okay, now the next step is linking multiple walks together. Now, if you remember when we were in the field, we use a large room to act as our anchor point. Now, this is going to guide us on how to overlap the two walks together. I like to start by rotating my scans around so they're orientated the same. Once we have the scans roughly in the right orientation, we hit that visual alignment button at the bottom. We're able to drag one scan over the top of the other and position it in plan view. We can then jump to our elevation view and make sure that it's aligned correctly in height. Now the last thing I want to do here is link in the roof scan that I did. Repeating the pr same process, we treated that large room as our anchor point. I select both walks and drag them over the top of each other again. Now once we've completed our bundle, a really handy visual check that you can do here is using the True Slicer tool in Register360. Now with the True Slicer, you're able to inspect a thin slice of the property, moving either up or down or in and out. This way you're able to see if there's any misalignment or double up of surfaces that shouldn't be there. 
Now one last thing I did here was capture a fourth scan of the exterior of the property using the scan and go adapter and the pole. This way I was able to get additional data on the roof of the property and also out over the side of one of the balconies. Now that we've finished linking all our walks together and finalising our bundle, we just need to hit this finalise button at the top. We need to accept the metrical data and move into our report phase. In here we can select the publish options tab and choose which file format we want to publish in. In this case I'm going to export an LGS file. Now an LGS file can be opened up in the free Truvia viewer for anyone to inspect. Now once we bring this LGS file into our Truvia viewer, we can change our viewing options toggling on and off our waypoints. We can orbit through the point cloud or even do a fly through. And if we have those setups turned on, we can jump in and out of our waypoints and preview the panoramic imagery. And now that we've finished our project, we're able to take this point cloud file into our CAD software and either do our 2D or 3D plans, our 3D modeling, or even inspections. So there you have it, this is the Leica blk to go handheld imaging laser scanner. For more information or to book in a demo, contact any one of our laser scanning specialists and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.